Google Gemini has gone through a lot of changes lately, a lot of new upgrades, and I wanted to make an updated video for my Google Gemini video. This time I want to focus on Google Gemini Advanced, which is their paid version of Google Gemini, and it has a ton of options that the free version doesn't have. And if you use AI on a regular basis, I think you'll find some of these really useful. This video is sponsored by Coursera. More on that in a bit. So you could access Google Gemini at gemini.google.com. And if you press this drop down right here, you're going to see two different versions of Google Gemini. This one is the free one that everyone has access to. And this is powered by a large language model called Gemini 1.5 Flash. It's their faster model here, and it's the free one. But there's this other thing that you'll see down here called Gemini Advanced, and you have to upgrade to it. So let me go ahead and upgrade on this account that is not upgraded just to show you the process. And this gives you a lot of different options, and I'll point some of these out in this video. But the main one that I really like is that it's powered by Google Gemini 1.5 Pro. This large language model is pretty powerful, and it just got a brand new upgrade to this month as I'm recording this video. And all the new features roll out to this new advanced model as well. And you could also upload a 1500 book or document to analyze. One million token context window. This is the biggest of any large language model. Typically other large language models are 128K or 256K. One million token context window, which again is close to a 1500 page document or an hour long video. And you get some other things that I'm gonna to mention too, including two terabyte of storage, which is part of this plan right over here. Okay, once you upgrade, you'll see this on the dropdown with the check mark Gemini Advanced powered by Gemini 1.5 Pro. And you'll see this plus sign down here with the free model, you could upload images. Now you could upload different files. You could pull in things from your Google Drive. One of the bigger benefits of using Gemini that I found is if I just type in the ad mention sign, look at all these different things that you have access to inside of this chatbot. So Google Calendar, Google Keep, Gmail, Google Docs, <laughs> all these Google products. Also YouTube, which is really, I found this one to be one of my favorites if you interact with any YouTube videos. So I'm gonna show you these. These are called extensions. We'll pull some of these in in a second. But right now, the first thing I wanted to show you is the power of the context window, the 1 million token context window and as I mentioned, that's about 1,500 words. So I'm going to go ahead and upload a massive file right over here with this upload option. Okay, and I have a copy here of the ebook version of War and Peace. I think this is over 1,000 pages, famously one of the biggest books that you could get access to. I'm going to go ahead and try to upload that. And it should fit in with the context window. And usually no other chatbot has this kind of context window right now. So you wouldn't be able to interact even with your own documents for your own business, whatever the case may be. Okay, so I just said recap this in one paragraph. So any type of prompt that you give to any type of document for an analysis, you could go ahead and give it to a document of this size, 1,000 pages. Okay, War and Peace is a sweeping historical novel. It's about the invasion of Russia by Napoleon. Okay, so exactly what the recap should be. And again, it got it from this thousand page or so book. Okay, let me try one more thing. I managed to actually open this Word doc. It almost crashed my computer, but it says down here, it's 1,935 pages is 1,136,000 words roughly. And then I wanted to see if we could actually see what's inside of the document, very specifically pull things out. I said, what's the first sentence of chapter three? And it says Anna's reception was in full swing. And here is chapter three. And that is right. And sometimes I've tested this before. This was part of the Google API release before. And sometimes you will get it, sometimes you won't here. So far, I tested it a handful of times and he was able to get it. But again, this is a massive context window. It's not gonna be perfect. So just keep that in mind. If you're using this to analyze you know, a 1900 page book that it might not get it right every single time, but so far really good results. And because you're inside of Google Gemini, these are a couple other things I really like about it. If you press share, you could actually export this directly into Google Docs. This is connected to Google Docs or draft your email directly from here too. So I always found these two useful 
if you are a heavy Gmail user, for example, or if you use Google Drive products all the time. And if you press the plus sign, you, you could always pull things in directly from Google Drive as well. And I could ask for a one sentence summary. I just double clicked it, it loaded it in. Again, it's going through analysis of it. And here's a one sentence summary, very straightforward there as well. Okay, so that showed off the power of the context window and that showed off the power of 1.5 Gemini. If you click on this question mark and you go to the update page, you'll see that they are constantly adding updates. They don't really announce them. I sometimes just find them on this page. But for example, as I'm making this video, Google Gemini just became more capable with a newer version of it, just in the background. This is the Gemini 1.5 Pro. So they do make updates all the time to this, but they don't really make big announcements of it. But this is how you could find out what's the latest, especially if you're watching this at a little bit later on. Now, the next thing I wanted to show you is if you type in the at mention sign here, you'll see all these things. These are called extensions. So Google obviously owns a ton of different products, right? They have all the products inside of Google Drive. They also have YouTube, all kinds of different things. You probably use Gmail even, right, all the time. And these extensions are part of the free version. So this is not specific to Gemini Advanced, but just to make a complete video, I'll show you how they work. If you go to the settings tab, you'll see the section called extensions. And by default, some of these are on, some of them are off. So if you don't wanna use any of them, you could always turn them off like this and they won't be available when you try to pull them in. It'll say you'll have to install it. But if you install any of them, you could use them inside of your chat. This one I use pretty frequently, even uh, in since the release of Gemini way back in the day where you could quickly recap your Gmail emails because you could pull them into chat and then you have the power of Gemini to interact with emails reply to drafts or just create drafts from there. But with the paid version, I'm gonna show you that these are also available in those apps. So when I got the free version, I used to just do it in chat. With Gemini Advanced, I could do exactly what I just described inside of Gmail or inside of Google Docs. That's what you get with the advanced version. With the free version though, you do get these and they released five when they first released this. Now it's up to seven. You even have Google Music available. You need to connect that to your Google account if you have Google Music subscription. So I'll show you how you would use this inside of chat. So just type in that mention sign, pull in something like, let's say I'll pull in my Gmail. What is my latest email? And it will access your email through your Google workspace. This is just my personal Gmail account. And my latest email was, well, I just subscribed to Google Advance with this account and that went directly to my Gmail and you pulled it in here. But imagine that any personal email you get, any work email you get, pulling it up like this. Sometimes I even ask it for a recap of all my emails for the day and it'll just go through one by one and give me a full recap. Now, as I mentioned, I do that inside of Gmail with Google Advanced inside of Gmail, but the free version could do these type of things, which is really, really useful. And since I was covering Google Gemini in this video, I partnered with Coursera to show you Google AI Refresh certification. So if you're not familiar with Coursera, they partner with over 275 universities and companies like Google to bring you all kinds of different things like online courses, certification program, degree programs. And obviously I think learning AI is at the top of the list of things to learn right now. So I thought the Google AI refresh certification program was a great fit for this video. This program is across six Google professional certifications, including Google data analytics, Google Project Management, Google UI Design, Google Cybersecurity, and Google Digital Marketing and E-Commerce. And last one, Google IT Support. And this program covers all the essential AI skills you need for today's job market. And all these programs are very career oriented. I'm also in the process of going through two of those Google programs I mentioned, and I'm finding it really valuable so far, and I think you will too. So I'll include a link in the description of this video to Coursera where you could go ahead and try it for free. Now, the next thing I wanted to show you that is included with Google Gemini Advanced is called Gems. And you have this entire page, there's a little icon here that brings you here. Now these Gems, I have a dedicated video about them, so I won't go into full details but you could create these and what these gems let you do is you could give them a very specific set of instructions. So let's say if you wanted one that would help you just consume YouTube videos faster, YouTube summary expert, okay? Just give it a name and then the set of instructions, it will also let you create them with this little magic wand here. So just type in something really simple. They have a built-in prompt generator here. Okay, this is gonna summarize YouTube videos. I'm gonna use this 
to have Gemini rewrite this prompt. These are called system prompts. This is how you train chatbots kind of behind the scenes. These are not user prompts that you're usually used to. And look at the depth of this prompt here. So it gives you the purpose and goal of this specific chatbot, the rules here, and you could customize any of it. I won't go through all the details, but the tone is sometimes something you wanna tweak here to get it exactly what you're looking for. And I'll save this one here. And what I could do is this one just knows how to summarize YouTube videos. So if I give it a link to a YouTube video, this is just one of my YouTube videos here. Well, this one has very specific instructions on how to react to this link, right? So it knows the type of tone I want or how I want it to respond to me, the length. I could give that as the system instructions. Custom GPTs are a version of this inside of ChatGPT. Claude has something called Claude Projects. Really useful option and you can see this is just one of my videos about the top seven AI prompt libraries and it looks like it's done a good job going through that and giving me the right information. So you could use these again for all kinds of different use cases. I have some that reply to emails, draft templates for emails. And uh, again, I have a dedicated video, but I just wanted to show you these Google gems are really powerful. And you could also incorporate these with some of the extensions like the YouTube extensions or the Google extensions too. Now, let me show you Gemini Advance inside of some of these apps. I'll start here with Gmail. So when you get an email like this, you'll have this little box right here where you could enter a prompt and it'll give you some suggestions too. So show me a longer summary. By default, it automatically gives me a summary that is very short. And here's one with a lot more detail and help me draft a response. And that will just give you some ideas over here, but I usually just press reply and you'll get this little icon right here, help me write, and then help me reply a response saying I can't go, okay? Let's see what we get there. And there we go, here's a response that I can't go based on the context of that email. Then I could ask for a shorter one. I could click refine, formalize it. Again, make it shorter with one click. This is a huge time saver. If you spend any time in your emails, why wouldn't you get some kind of template like this as a starting point and refine it just in one click? You have something, makes it a lot easier. I don't know, I personally have saved a ton of time just with this one option inside of Google Gemini Advanced. Now, if you jump into Google Docs, for example, this lets you do all kinds of different things too. So you'll see this new pop-up, it says, help me write, meeting notes, email templates, all kinds of different things. You could pull in different documents. In this case, if you just type in a prompt here, help me create a to-do list for creating a course. And here's what it came up with. Again, you have this little option that I just really like this because a lot of times my follow-up prompt is give me a shorter version or make this into bullets or summarize this. This has some of those options and you could have this custom box over here too. So very useful and you just insert it right into your documents. You get this little icon always over here to help you write. I found it really useful and you could select text here and then interact with that text again with this little magic pencil. Now this does have some vision capabilities too. So you could upload an image like this and it was able to extract the text for me. It doesn't really do a good job with people though. So I don't usually use it to try to get it to recognize or even replicate people. They also have something called Imagen 3 that recently came out where it could generate images. And I found that the Google Gemini advanced version of it usually beats the Gemini model that I've used to generate images here. I asked for an image of a computer lab. This is what we got from our first prompt. Not bad, you could click here to download the full size version of it from here. So creating images inside of the chatbot also very useful. Now for Android users, with this upgrade to Gemini Advanced, you also get access to Gemini Live, which is a voice chat option, almost in real time voice chat inside of Android phones. I unfortunately have an iPhone, so I can't show you that. But for Android users, that's another benefit of Gemini Advanced. So as you can see, Gemini Advanced has quite a bit to offer, and I'll put some resources again on different tutorials I've made related to Gemini in the description if you wanna dive deeper. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I will see you next time.